Greetings, everyone, and a warm welcome. In this video lecture, I will discuss the topic The Educational Philosophy of Paulo Freire. Let us first try to understand brief life sketch of Paulo Freire. Paulo Freire, born on 19 September 1921, in Recife, Brazil, was a prominent educator, philosopher, and advocate for social justice. His life was marked by a commitment to empowering marginalized communities through education. Frey's influential work laid the foundation for critical pedagogy, a transformative approach to education. He passed away on 2 May 1997. Paulo Frey's educational philosophy is deeply rooted in the liberation of individuals and communities through critical engagement and dialogue. His legacy continues to inspire educators globally to foster transformative and empowering educational practices. Let me now discuss the educational philosophy of Paulo Freire. 1. Pedagogy of the Oppressed Freire education either functions as an instrument that is used to facilitate the integration of the younger generation into the logic of the present system and bring about conformity, or it becomes the practice of freedom. Frey's philosophy is encapsulated in his seminal work, Pedagogy of the Oppressed. He advocates for an education that liberates individuals from oppressive systems, fostering critical consciousness and social transformation. 2. Dialogue and Collaboration Frey knowledge emerges only through invention and reinvention, through the restless, impatient, continuing, hopeful inquiry human beings pursue in the world, with the world, and with each other. Freire emphasizes the importance of dialogue and collaboration in education. Knowledge is not a static entity but emerges through active, participatory engagement and inquiry within a community. 3. Critical Consciousness Freire education is the practice of freedom, the means by which men and women deal critically and creatively with reality and discover how to participate in the transformation of their world. Central to Frey's philosophy is the concept of critical consciousness. Education is a tool for individuals to critically analyze and understand their social reality, empowering them to actively participate in the transformation of their world. 4. Problem Posing Education Frey's education must begin with the solution of the teacher student contradiction by reconciling the poles of the contradiction so that both are simultaneously teachers and students. Freire advocates for a problem-posing approach to education, where both teachers and students engage in a reciprocal learning process. This challenges traditional hierarchical structures and encourages a more democratic and participatory learning environment. 5. Humanization and Dehumanization Freire education is suffering from narration sickness. Freire critiques traditional education, which he sees as a form of banking education, where knowledge is deposited into passive students. He calls for a humanizing approach that recognizes the agency and dignity of learners, moving away from dehumanizing practices. 6. Empowerment through literacy Frey liberation is a praxis, the action and reflection of men and women upon their world in order to transform it. Frey's literacy campaigns sought to empower marginalized communities by providing them with the tools to critically read and understand their socio-political context. Literacy becomes a means of liberation and empowerment. Aims of Education According to Paulo Frey 1. Critical Consciousness The primary aim of education, according to Frey, is to develop critical consciousness. This involves empowering individuals to critically analyze and understand their social reality, recognizing oppressive structures, and actively participating in the transformation of their world. 2. Empowerment and Liberation Education should serve as a tool for empowerment and liberation. Frey's aim is to liberate individuals from dehumanizing conditions, allowing them to assert agency, dignity, and a sense of responsibility in shaping their own destinies. 3. Democratic Participation Freire envisions education as a means to foster democratic participation. Learners should not be passive recipients but active contributors to the learning process, engaging in dialogue, 
and collectively shaping their educational experiences. 4. Humanization The aim is to humanize the educational process. Frey critiques traditional banking education and emphasizes a more humane approach that recognizes the full humanity of learners, respecting their experiences, cultures, and voices. Curriculum Design According to Paulo Freire One Problem-Posing Curriculum Freire advocates for a problem-posing curriculum. Instead of presenting fixed content, the curriculum should involve real-world problems that learners collaboratively explore, analyze, and critically engage with. This approach stimulates critical thinking and active participation. 2. Relevance to learners' contexts The curriculum should be contextually relevant to the learners' lives. It should connect with their socio-political realities, allowing them to see the direct relevance of what they are learning to their own experiences and challenges. 3. Literacy as Empowerment Frey's curriculum emphasizes literacy not just as a set of skills but as a tool for empowerment. It includes programs that enable learners to critically read and write about their world, fostering a sense of agency and the ability to navigate their social context. Methods of Teaching According to Paulo Freire 1. Dialogical Pedagogy Freire's teaching methods prioritize dialogue over monologue. Teachers and students engage in meaningful conversations, fostering a participatory and collaborative learning environment. This approach recognizes the mutual learning that takes place in dialogue. 2. Problem-posing techniques Teaching involves problem-posing techniques where teachers present real-world problems. Students, in collaboration with their peers and teachers, explore these problems critically. This approach stimulates critical thinking, creativity, and active engagement. 3. Participatory and Experiential Learning Freire advocates for participatory and experiential learning. Learners actively participate in the learning process, drawing from their own experiences and engaging with the material in a way that makes it meaningful and relevant to their lives. 4. Critical Literacy Programs Freire's methods include critical literacy programs that go beyond basic reading and writing. These programs aim to empower learners to critically engage with texts, question information, and develop the skills to navigate and transform their social reality. Thank you everyone. If you're passionate about education and teacher training, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel Education and Teacher Education at Shokin Bilal.